evening, I wanted to share my candle collection with you guys. So I apologize. I have tried to use the original audio that I recorded with this video, but I don't think that will ever be possible at this point in time. Currently, the room that I am filming in quite a bit of background noise and usually when I'm in this room my dog gets up walking around and so that creates um, additional noise and some distractions. So we're first going to get started with a candle that is probably my most recent candle that I've bought. Is by a company called 419 Trading and this candle is in the scent patchouli and tobacco. I got this a couple of weeks ago at a flea market in the area and they had quite a few scents first, I wasn't even interested in smelling this particular scent. I was kind of turned off by the patchouli in the name. Um, not that I dislike patchouli, it's just not necessarily what I want my house to smell like. But I tried everything else. Everything smelled okay. And I said, why not? I'll smell this last one. And I instantly really enjoyed the scent. So I really like it. And this candle is perfect. Um, it will fit in all year round. So I will probably end up buying another one in the future once this one gets. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the matches that I have. And here's a box of matches. I believe I received this as a gift. On one side it has a picture of two feathers, and on the back a picture of three eggs. This is just um, a cardboard container and inside the matches are a little bit longer. Currently I have this sitting um, in my coffee table. I have a display case coffee table use this as some decor to go up, say, piece. Here is another um, container of matches, and this was also a gift recently given to me by my parents. Um, they came to visit, and they saw these in a store and thought they would look perfect on my mantle. I have two wooden mantles in my house and everything um, seems to match up there. I have a lot of gray with white and gold accents so they thought these white tipped matches would look perfect and they definitely do extremely thankful for these. To finish showing you my candle collection, these are candles I've collected over the past two years. This first one candle and I got this 
was at H&M when they first came out with their home line. And this is in the scent Pine Forest. So I got this mainly just to like. currently have a fake Christmas tree, so I still like to have the scent of the real evergreen trees, so I went ahead and bought this candle, and I light it up whenever I'm sitting in front of the Christmas tree. Alright, here's my next candle, which does really fit into my home decor style once again. Um, this is a village village candle, excuse me, and it is in the scent cherry blossom. As you can see, the wick is a bit thicker, and this is one of those candles that sounds like a fire burning when you light it. So it's very soothing and relaxing. I received this candle as a gift as well, but probably about three years ago. I think somebody gave it to me just because they had a duplicate candle and so they thought I would enjoy it. I do. I enjoy the scent. It just doesn't really match anything in my house. So I tend to light it just when I'm by myself. Okay, so this next candle is kind of a miniature candle. And I got this. From anthropology and it is in the scent Aloha Orchid. This is definitely a spring and summer only candle. It is very, very strong, but I enjoy the scent. It smells just like a bunch of I haven't used this one too often just because it is quite strong but I plan to continue to use it some more this summer I believe this was a patty wax candle as well okay up next we have one of my favorite candles of all time. And this is a City Hale Company candle. And I believe it is in the scent tobacco and sandalwood. I've already gone through, I believe, two of these candles in the past kind of shows you how much I really like this one. The neat thing about this candle is once you've burnt up all the candle wax, you can clean out the leftover wax and then wash it out really well. You actually have a really nice I really enjoy that. The white and red sticker comes off the front, but the black writing will stay on there. And this glass is perfect to serve cocktails in. So, I'm trying to make a whole scent of them. Next, we 
have another favorite. This is the Wild Honeysuckle Candle. And once again, I got this candle from Anthropology. It has two wicks inside and comes in a tin casing. This one is almost finished. I really, really enjoy this scent, especially for the spring and summer. Growing up, my grandparents had a honeysuckle bush uh, next to their house, and they still do. But I would remember going to their home and smelling it, and I vaguely remember and kind of put some honeysuckle in your mouth and taste it. So I remember doing that as a child with my aunts. So that's a special memory. And I don't know, smelling this candle um, definitely brings back all those memories. I read somewhere recently different smells can really trigger some strong memories, um, more so than any of our other senses. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I wouldn't say I have a strong sense of smell, so I wonder if anybody else has really experienced the memories linked with different Next, we have, I would have to say, probably my favorite candle of the whole bunch. And this is a candle by the company Patty Wax. And it is in the scent Solstice. And it comes in this beautiful mercury glass. This is a kind of gold and silver colored glass. This one is definitely more fitting to light during the holidays and winter. And whenever I smell this candle, I just can envision myself walking through a magical forest of some sort. It is just beautiful. Um, so it definitely makes your home smell unique. So I really enjoy that. And I do tend to have a different taste in my candle smell. I tend to prefer darker and woodsier scents. But then I also enjoy some fresh florals. I don't care for sweet smelling scents. Vanilla is about as sweet as I can go. Everything else is just a little too much for me. And then, I believe this is the last candle I have to share with you guys. This one got at Anthropology, and I absolutely love the case that it came in. I really like the scent as well, and so I got this on sale. So I went ahead and bought two of them at the same time. Now this comes in the scent Lavender Fern. And I don't even know how to describe this scent to you, but once again, I can kind of see um, more of a foresty type um, scene when I smell this. This one, though, you can definitely light in the fall time 
in, in the spring as well. I wouldn't say it's a summer scent, but for sure a fall, winter, and spring scent. And it comes in this gold case, and at the top and the side it says Hyde Creek Farm, made in Columbus, Mississippi. When I first bought this candle, I assumed that was the brand, and so I went and looked it up online, since I enjoyed the scent so much, but I actually found out that is not really the brand name, and that is a fake name, uh, mainly just for the packaging to make the candle look a little nicer. So I believe this is actually a pad wax candle, just a special edition candle that they had at Anthropology, and I could be wrong on the brand name since it's not clearly stated. All right, so that was my candle selection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful night.